Hi, my beautiful family. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Easter to you all. Yeah, we are in Easter holiday. Yeah, so I thought, why not give my people this package during Easter holiday? <laughs> yeah, as the title suggests, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my own personal experience my own story guys how i managed to overcome a fear of speaking in public out there there might be somebody who is going through the same thing that i used to go through so maybe my story can change their lives you might be out there and you also have a different current fear i know we all have our own fears things that we fear to do things that dictate our lives or dictate our mind that you feel like how can i overcome this how can i come out of this ditch if you're new here welcome thank you so much for clicking my name is harriet from uganda east africa Kampala. yeah so and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please make sure you subscribe before the end of this video in case of the change in light yeah i am using natural light from my door right now it fit feels like it's gonna rain it's sunny so yeah so the, the light keep on changing so guys to take you back to my childhood growing up as a little kid actually i used to be a very quiet kid <laughs> very quiet kid you can't even uh expect this guys but to be honest with you I used not to be like this. I used to be a very quiet kid. And sometimes my mother, I think I could even give sometimes hard time to my mom. Like whenever she feels like she wants to talk to me and I'm never opening up, you know. <laughs> and more so, my mom gave birth to me when she was uh, 15 years of uh, age. She was really very young. And sometimes I, I used to have that fear like, my mom is like me like she's younger and there are certain things i could not even share with my mom because i felt like she's very young <laughs> if you're out there and you have the same experience please let me know in the comment section yeah so my mom was really like she, sometimes she could feel like she wants to open up to me she wants to you know to discuss those girl thing talk and i feel, I felt like mm -mm, no my mom how is she gonna say will she judge me you know <laughs> but anyway she was a good mom my mom was a good anyway that was gonna be a story for another day so in primary i remember one time uh we had something some event happening in school and um i was requested to have a microphone and have a talk i was like oh God, what are these people gonna do <laughs> oh my god i'm dead <laughs> you know so i felt like oh my god our student gonna look at me how are they going to say whatever i'm gonna say you know so i was like no no i can't do that i can't do that you know i had a potential to speak to the student to, to speak to people but still i had that fear how are they gonna judge me after me uh, speaking or whatever i'm gonna talk so i had that fear. And on that day i didn't talk anything even if i was given a microphone i was like no i can't do this say it all takes the grace of god for you to overcome whatever you can overcome i remember one time my mother uh spoke to a friend actually she had a friend called joyce her best friend and i remember she talked to her i don't know whatever they discussed and that lady was trying to talk to me you know that i was in primary six i was in primary six and she was like you know harriet you always um a good girl and i know you have a potential i know you you can do a lot more you know and um whenever you can step out there i know you can be a good kid you know guys another thing i am a singer i have a gift of singing and i can sing guys i can really sing from my childhood you know i used to sing and even up to now i can really sing even if i have never sung to you guys but i can sing <laughs> so how i improved um when i left to primary level then i went to secondary my secondary level i was in boarding section and um you know at school there are always other departments that you are always given like for example um head girl or what if you contents so and what but for me i didn't contents and they just chose me to be a choir leader 
was like, oh God, why did I even expose my voice? Why did I even expose it? You know, you know, if you have a talent, they will always discover your talent. However much you want to hide it, they will always discover your talent. <laughs> so they chose me to be a choir leader and I was like, ah, oh God, how am I going to handle this? So meaning I was always supposed to stand in front of people, to talk to them, to sing in front of them. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? God, give me a grace because I have never done this. And I always fear my, my greatest fear was like, how are people going to judge me? That was always what was in my mind. And that is the thing that could control my mind or control my life. Like, how are people going to judge me? Whatever I'm going to do, whatever I'm going to sing, how are people going to judge me? So then one time... Uh, we had a trainer, of course, and he trained us. And he said, hmm, this girl has a nice voice. He was referring to me. I was like, this girl has a nice voice. She can do much better, you know, if she can expose her voice out there, if she can do a lot of things out there. It's like, okay. So one time uh, the teacher, the teacher who used to train us, he called me and they briefed me and they were like, I feel like you are like a shy girl, but you're not a shy girl. What's happening? Sometimes you feel like you're lonely. What's happening? Is anything wrong with you? I was like, no, nothing is wrong with me. And I was like, but what is the problem? I can help you out. Then I was like, I have no problem. <laughs> you know those stubborn kids, but silent and um, they don't want to say out something. But they want, they feel like they want to say out something, but they don't want to say it out. You know. So that was me because uh, I, I remember very well. Even at school, I used not to have a lot of friends. Even where I grew up from, I used not to have a lot of friends. Like I had few friends, like two to three friends you know but the only friend that i was so open to i remember her name was called florence <laughs> wherever you are i know you're watching this video and um she was a person that i could sometimes open to up but not all that much you know <laughs> some of the things i can't keep it by myself but then this teacher kept on you know pushing me pushing me out pushing me pushing me until i started like being you know he was trying to defend me so that i can be opening up to him what was uh up to me you know why am i always like that one time he told me please can you share something with me i know there's something that is in your mind that i feel like uh you would share it with me and i could get a solution for you like god can I share? <laughs> Can I share? Oh, I don't share. So I felt something convincing me inside me and I felt like, okay, let me share whatever he will say about me. Um, anyway, he would have broken my trust. <laughs> but anyway, he was a good teacher. So then I shared to him that, you know, my fear is always to speak in public. I don't want to speak in public i can speak to you i can speak to any other person but i do not want to stand on public and speak to people i feel like i can be judged like people can talk a lot about me that will hurt me and it will not do me good and i told me okay so from today onwards just know that your problem is solved i was like oh okay how <laughs> he told me okay so from today onwards as we chose you as a choir leader, you're going to be leading some of the songs. Slowly, slowly, you get used to people. Slowly by slowly, you start speaking to people. Slowly by slowly, you start talking to bigger mass. I was like, God, <laughs> what is this man doing to me right now? So <clears throat> I, when I went back to my dormitory, like uh, at night, of course, when I was sleeping, I was like, Hmm, maybe this guy is speaking something something that is pushing me out you know so when i completed uh, of course then i started uh doing the music at school i could sing and i started gaining that experience and also my fear could go slow by slow by slow by slow by slow and i started being a sharp girl sharper and sharper and sharper and sharper guys if i was in that same state that i used to be i could be even speaking to you guys today i could not could be vlogging to you guys you know getting a camera and standing in front and you know speaking in front of a camera i could not be doing that today but i thank god that um that school changed my mentality you know i came out of that bondage i can say it's a bondage you know because 
for you to have that fear it's always like a bondage something is dictating you you know you always have that in your head in your entire life actually if you don't uh, overcome it you will always have it in your entire life and that is very bad you know very bad it can ruin your life it can ruin your life you know because it puts you in a state where you can't come out of it you know and it will always be playing in you when i finished my secondary and um i thought okay now i was now open i could now open to my mother i could now discuss things with her people out there then i started of course when i got my smartphone i started watching some some of the videos on youtube and um there's this um motivational speaker that i used to watch and uh, one time i landed to one of the video where it said about how you can overcome your fears and that the fear he was um talking about was a uh, fear of height i thought today during this easter season let me share this package to my people yeah guys so basically that is how i overcame my fear of uh, speaking in public you know if i didn't take ad advice of my teacher guys i could not be going out right now and vlogging for you coming here on youtube talking to you guys but thankfully i did <laughs> i did guys so if there is anybody out there and you are undergoing um the same thing that i used to go through or maybe a different fear because we have different types of fears that people are undergoing please drop in the comment section down below and i will appreciate and are you working on your fears or are you in a process or you overcame please let's discuss you know let's discuss and we get to know each other how you overcame your fears or you may be in the process yeah until again next time if you have enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe like and share and also hit on that um, notification bell so that you don't miss out any of any our videos that we upload over here hope to see you guys in the next one happy easter with all your family and your friends i love you guys bye